Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. There are sometimes passages in the Bible that are so disturbing we almost can't believe it when we read it. And today is one of those passages. It's part of the Christmas story, but honestly, it is often skipped over. In the previous videos, we've explored much of the nativity account. And today, we're going to talk about an often skipped part of the story. So let's take a look. It's in Matthew chapter 2, verses 16 to 18. This is what it says. Then Herod, when he saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, became furious. And he sent and he killed all the male children in Bethlehem and in all that region who were under two years of age, according to the time that he had ascertained from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and loud lamentations. Rachel, weeping for her children, she refused to be comforted because they were no more. So histor history records that Herod was a ruthless and paranoid leader. And this portion of Matthew confirms that description. When King Herod realizes that he didn't know the exact identity of the newborn king, he became angry. The wise men were supposed to return and let Herod know who this infant was. And Herod believed that Jesus might someday be a rival for his throne. So based on the wise men's testimony, the only facts that Herod had was that the child was born in Bethlehem and that he would be younger than two years old. Herod, in his paranoid rage, orders all the male children under two in Bethlehem and the surrounding region to be killed. Now, this is unthinkable and it is a great tragedy. So what are we supposed to do with this? Well, I think there are two primary ways we can respond. Number one, we should grieve. This is terrible. We should be heartbroken by sin that snuffs out innocent life. Pray for our own society that is willing to take the innocent life of the unborn or treat children as commodities through human trafficking or a society that fails to protect the life of the vulnerable and the disabled. So we should grieve. And then number two, I think that we should also be assured um, Matthew includes this tragic part of the story to give us yet one more prophetic proof that Jesus is the promised Messiah. This is the fourth prophecy recorded in Matthew that Jesus fulfills. This tragedy was foretold centuries before Jesus. It came true, and now we should have an assurance that Jesus is the Messiah. So today, even in the midst of a disturbing truth, be glad that Jesus surely is our Savior. He came to right the wrongs like this heinous act of Herod's. And I hope that you have greater trust in Jesus today because of this passage. And I trust that you are encouraged to rest in Jesus regardless of the trials that surround you today. I want to let you know that I hope to see you this weekend at our services on Saturday evening and Sunday morning as we take a look at 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Have a blessed day, Calvary.